In today's video, you're going to see me clean the prettiest feet and toenails with a touch of nail fungus on her big toes and some great slow motion shots. Here, just a little deep conversation and I share something personal that happened to us. So stay tuned. Because the videos is what got me here. Yeah. All right, I'll take that foot and you can straighten all the way out. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if so your comment nice got the most in. likes and will be featured in an upcoming yeah. video. I can't wait to see what's underneath there. Do you do your own pedicures or do you go get them done? Well, I went um, to the shop because I was so disappointed once they finally opened. Um, I usually try to go and get one at least once a season. Right. Then I try to like maintain it. Right, keep it up. Bye, Judy. All right, you can bend your knee. There you go. Yeah, they are a little ripply, aren't they? We'll see what's underneath here. How is traffic getting here today? Oh, beautiful. It's a nice day, isn't it? It really is. No congestion. There is a little bit of traffic road work, but it didn't slow me down at all. That's good. So it's not super bad, but you do have a tiny bit of nail fungus. Mm. That's just making it separate mm -hmm. right there. So after we trim off the length of the toenail, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to restore your nail pretty quickly. Most of that will come off too. We'll make sure that it isn't connected to anything live after it soaks a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think I got excited and I skipped this one <laughs> once I went to get into the barbicide. How's your summer going? I'm learning to how things work. I know, me too. No travel, no nothing. Yeah. You gotta be so aware and make sure you're sanitizing. Mm -hmm. Anything you touch, it's a nuisance. Yeah. But other than that, it's going well. I'm still here. <laughs> right. That's good. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of outdoor stuff. Yeah. We got bicycles. Mm -hmm. I was trying to purchase bicycles and they've been hard to find in my area. Everybody was purchasing them because that's the only thing you could do yep. at one point. Yeah, we went to a store to, because we were like, okay, we'll, we'll take it to parks, you know, we'll... Mm -hmm you know, go to nice parks around here and go for bike rides and stuff. So we needed a bike rack for the car. 
So we went to a store and all of the bicycles were gone. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and no bike racks, no. I'm like, well, that's good. At least other people have the same idea. Yeah. TV binging, especially when we were on stay at home or mm -hmm. TV binging, reading books. What's your favorite series that you've been watching so far? Um, I watched something called Little Fires on Hulu. Okay. With Carrie Washington. All it right. Been pretty good. Um, so typically I like to watch documentaries. We've been watching um, Ray Donovan. Have you ever watched that? Oh, I heard so much about that on HBO. Is that pretty good? It's really good. It's I so started good. started and then I stopped. I watched, um, what is it? Big Little Lies. Yep, that yeah. was great. I watched, I watched that. Um, we find it super good. Yeah. yeah, but I never got to watch television before. Yeah, see the stay at home or the course that's the decent thing. Yeah, I was like, wow, okay, this is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That and cooking a lot. I cooked so much when we first got on it. I had intentions of starting to cook, but you know what? I tear up fail big fail <laughs> not good because when I'm at home like I am busy I'm working mm -hmm. you know I'm editing and doing yeah. stuff and um, Bruce would come home and he's like did you eat anything today and I'm like nope like I won't even uh -oh. go in the kitchen mm -hmm. I won't even go in the kitchen so he's the cooker of the family or? and he's the grocery shopper oh, okay <laughs> but we used to have Friday night dates, mm -hmm. and uh, when that all stopped, we yeah. we did start going to the grocery store together. Okay. We're like, let's go walk around. You know, when we first started, the stay-at-home order would be so funny when I go to the grocery store. I would be zooming through that grocery store with that little super car trying to hurry up and get right. everything I needed. Telling people, stay away, stay yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is um, skin that attached mm -hmm. to the back of your toenail um, as it grew, but over here it's lifted away from your nail bed. It's not bad at all, not at all. You caught it really super early, super, super early. This might tickle. They're gonna be so clean and pretty when we're done. There's been times like um, when I went to the beach like last, towards the end of last spring, summer or fall, I noticed and I'd be so embarrassed because it just seemed like my toenail is just not clean, you know. You've got beautiful feet and toes. Well, thank you. I would be, be putting them in the sand. <laughs> Yeah, that surface layer, it just started to separate a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you can tell how it just, it's coming off super easy, just a little flaky. And I'm just being real careful not to file off anymore. That's the ridgy layer that was making it look uneven. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see the discoloration a little bit on your nail plate mm -hmm. and see how that just came right up. So I'm just gonna file off that little surface layer that's kind of separated. And then we'll get that nice pink nail bed back underneath there. See how that's turning nice and clean. Because you don't have any terrible problems with your toenails, we don't want to thin them out too much because then they'll crack and peel and break. and So we don't want to do that. And these little white layers, they're going to come right off too. All that discoloration is going to come off. So the last pedicure that, that you got, they didn't clean off your toenails or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nobody really, I don't know, I guess maybe they were nervous or scared, I don't know. Um, nope, they didn't. They did the bear and then polished me up and sent me on out. That's why I said, since I found you, I will drive out here. Mm-hmm. Get my pedicure. That's right. And they'll last a long time. You know, I recently I've had some clients saying that they were getting their pedicures every two weeks. And I said, why? At one point. You don't need to get pedicures every two weeks. I was doing that too. Um, because that's when I started noticing that big toe thing. Yeah. And it was like, okay, I need a pedicure. I need a pedicure. And I'm gonna put my hand under your heel just to give me a couple inches. Get my file underneath there. You can just relax your foot. There we go. I like your pants. <laughs> Thank you. And your shirt. <laughs> A little floral design. Yeah. yeah. Be happy. That's it's good horrible to go to some place when you don't enjoy it especially right. we were saying that too and we had heard a rumor that um 
there's a big parking lot down here in town. Mm -hmm. The Walmart was oh. going to put an outdoor movie screen in and use it as an outdoor movie theater. Yeah, nice. But I haven't seen anything happening, so I don't know if they needed a permit or or what to do. That's great. So I had it. I need to fire. Um, have you decided how much money you need to make a week and set yeah, a goal? Yeah, I did. I said a goal. I wrote everything out. Uh, I went far out six months. And then I worked myself back to like what I need to do for day one, what I need to do 30 days, 90 days, you know, that's whatever great. 60, 90 is, such work. So I've been kind of working out a uh, plan. Um, the thing is, I'm 46 years old, so I said, not now, then when. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to mirror the next, because I've been at this position for almost the, the company I worked at before. This one was health insurance, health insurance. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to move around. It was different positions over the course of those 12, 15 years. This one, I want to do something that's yes. different. That's too. good. And meaningful, like nonprofit is meaningful, but. Especially when you start looking at your life, like how many more years do exactly. I have left? Exactly. And I have two uh, children. Um, I have a son that's uh, 27 and I have another son that's 19. Okay. And so it gets pretty bad when your 19 year old is telling you, you need a different job. You need, yeah. you need to do something else, mom. So because then that means that somewhere along the way I've shown them too much of how it has affected me emotionally or mm -hmm. like, nah, who else out there decided to change careers during the lockdown tell me what you were doing and what you decided to do or if you've set a goal to change your career because of all of the pandemic that's great now this one might be a little worse yeah I think it's from pressure from this toe pressing onto this toe, maybe see how it fits right in there. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you some little silicone things that separate this toe, mm -hmm. so you can put them on and wear them with any of your shoes. Okay. So many people have switched to white gold. There's always fascinating to still see the yellow gold. Yeah, I've been married for 23 years. Glory to God, that's a blessing. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I always like to remind people that for their, you know, balance in life to do something kind for yourself, do come something kind for someone you love, mm. and do something kind for a stranger every single day. That's awesome. And it'll give you joy. Mm -hmm. so, um, you have a sense of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody's thankful for you that you're able to help them with something, anything. Stress. You don't need that. And I was scared because they would say, well, you know, you're a good worker and who are you going to do and this and that because I had made up and money gone quite a few times over the course of the last five years, like, uh-uh, this is good, this is good. But now, um, I like what you said, you said do something for yourself, because sometimes we leave ourselves out. Mm -hmm. We get so busy doing for everything and everyone mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be as simple as taking a cup of tea out and sitting in the sunshine. You know, okay. give yourself some time to reflect or anything. That's why I said I'm so excited about this new chapter. I'm just going to let God do his thing and I'm going to do what my part is. Oh, that's right. <laughs> as long as you do the work, you can't fail. A lot of people have lost their perspective of what they want in their life. Mm -hmm. They just say, well, this is what I have to do, or I can't do this because... It's like, you can do anything that you set your mind to. Mm -hmm. Anything. Mm -hmm. And that's where I finally... That's why I said you stay at home, just help me put it all into perspective. Like, so if you want to live in the next 10 years, like you live in the last 10, and be disappointed or discouraged or emotionally and down. Uh -huh. And people don't realize that I can't, like, it really started messing. If you still go over and see your emotions, your heart, it messes with your mind. Uh huh. So. I'm going to tell you guys something personal because this is real life. You get a glimpse of my life through watching the services I provide. We went through a really stressful time when this video was filmed. We had to prove to our bank we weren't money laundering. Before even telling us what they needed for proof, they told us that they were going to close all of our accounts. We would have no access to anything. And we had to contact a special customer service representative. 
and after providing the information they requested, they didn't tell us they accepted our proof until the very last day. And yep, I know it's kind of funny now, but it was the most stomach-turning two weeks of my life. Well, those are actually against the law. Yeah. Yeah, because I, they can draw blood, mm -hmm. and you can't have bloodborne pathogens in the pedicure water mm -hmm. because if they don't clean it properly, and somebody has a cut. Yeah, I'm glad I always tell them don't use that on my feet. Mm -mm. It always you heard what I call it. It reminds me of a cheese grater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they changed the rules about five years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. And so they're just still using them. Yeah, four years ago. So either they don't realize, yeah. they haven't read the updated rules, but... I don't like those things. Mm -mm. No, they can make people's feet feel very vulnerable. I've seen one person, what made me not like them, and this was many years ago, maybe 15 years ago, or a little more. I seen someone's feet after that was done, and it was raw. Yeah, and it looked like it had been shredded. Their mm -hmm. feet. And I'm like, that person, either it was a tool, or they didn't really know how to use it, but it turned me off, just put it that way. And I never liked those. Right.
Do you want polish today? Uh, yeah, she bought in the white. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. I think I Sometimes getting them after getting them all cleaned up, people are like, they're so pretty, that's I don't how, want I, them. That's why I was sitting here thinking like, thinking that I may not want to do polish. I don't think I do. She had brought in the white when I first got here. We can just put on clear so they're nice and shiny yeah. if you want. They are pretty.
see all of this really deep orange color? The toenail is all lifted from there and we have to get all of the impacted material out from underneath the toenail. We have to work slow because you don't want to shove it underneath the toenail even more and work from the front to the back by inserting the tool and pulling upwards on the nail plate and then pulling out the material. Okay, no problem. We're just finishing up. So this will take probably three months. 
but you're going to drop a product called nail mycosis right under your nail twice a day. So it soaks right underneath there. Okay. See how it just went down underneath? And you're gonna do it to this side too. And to your pinky. That one just has a touch on it. If you can remember to do it twice a day, okay. it'll work faster. Mm -hmm. But yours isn't bad. So if you only do it once a day, It'll be okay. Well, let me go grab those things while that soaks in for a second and then I'm gonna knock your nail clean. And it just gives your somewhere to rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Instead of getting squeezed over. They almost look like they have a real pale pink on them, don't they? <laughs> they do, they look good. They're so fresh. Oh, pretty. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.